All right, so what we have here is we have a, a right triangle, and they want us to find all six trig functions for angles A and then for angles for angle B. All right, so here's the right angle, so that means this side here is the hypotenuse, and we have the length of this side is square root of 5, the length of this side is 1, and what I'll do is I'll, I'll call this side A, a little a, because it's opposite angle A, and then I'll call this side here little b because it's opposite angle b, and the hypotenuse, well, I'll call that little c because it's opposite angle c. So first we need to find out what c is. So to do that, well, we can just use the Pythagorean theorem. So we know that c squared is equal to a squared plus b squared. So c squared is 1 squared plus the square root of 5 squared. And that's going to be 1 plus 5, which is 6. And so c is the square root of 6. So we'll go ahead and label this side square root of 6. All right. Now we're ready to find our six trig functions. So let's let's go ahead and find the sine of a. Let's find all six trig functions for angle a. So a, well, here's a. So remember, when we, whenever you have a right triangle, sine is opposite over hypotenuse. So that's going to be 1 over square root of 6. And then remember how to rationalize the denominator. That's square root of 6 over square root of 6. Multiply numerator and denominator. So that's square root of 6 over 6. So there's sine A. Now let's find cosine A. So cosine, well remember, that's adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's going to be square root of 5 over square root of 6. And then if I rationalize denominator, multiply numerator and denominator by square root of 6, that's going to give me square root of 30 over 6. So there's cosine. And then we'll do tangent a. So that is going to be, remember, tangent is opposite over adjacent. So that's going to be opposite, which is 1, over adjacent, which is square root of 5. And then I'm going to rationalize the denominator. Multiplying square root of 5 over square root of 5. And so that's going to give me square root of 5 over 5. So there's sine, cosine, and tangent. Well, now we need to find cosecant. So let's see, I think we can do that here. Cosecant A. All right. Well, cosecant A, well, remember, cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So if you flip the cosecant, I'm sorry, if you flip sine, you get cosecant. So now look, if I, if I flip this, that's going to give me 6 over square root of 6, and then I would have to rationalize the denominator. But look at this. 1 over square root of 6 is the same thing as square root of 6 over 6. They're the same thing. It's just this, I rationalized the denominator to get this. See, it's like I multiplied by 1, and I got the same thing back. It's just the radical is not in the denominator anymore. So look, instead of flipping Instead of flipping this, I'm going to flip this one. So that's square root of 6 over 1, which is square root of 6. Now if we do secant A, well, this one really doesn't matter. If I flip this, I'll have a square root and denominator. If I flip this, I'll have a square root and the denominator. I'm just going to go ahead and flip this one. So that's going to be square root of 6 over square root of 5. And then we'll rationalize the denominator by multiplying by square root of 5 over square root of 5. 
So square root of 5 times square root of 6 is square root of 30. Square root of 5 times square root of 5 is 5. And then for cotangent A, well, I'm not going to take the reciprocal of this one. I'm going to do this one because I won't have a square root or a radical in the denominator. So the reciprocal of that is square root of 5 over 1, which is just square root of 5. And so here's all six trig functions for angle A. All right. Now let's find all six trig functions for angle B. Okay. All right. So let's do sine of B. Okay. So here's angle B. So the sine, remember, that's opposite over hypotenuse. So that's going to be opposite, which is square root of 5, over hypotenuse, which is square root of 6. And then we're going to rationalize the denominator. So I'm going to multiply by what? Square root of 6 over square root of 6. So square root of 6 times square root of 5 is square root of 30. Square root of 6 times square root of 6 is 6. And then I'll do cosine b. So remember, cosine, that's adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's going to be 1 over square root of 6. And then I'll rationalize denominator. Multiply by square root of 6 over square root of 6. Square root of 6 times 1 is square root of 6. Square root of 6 times square root of 6 is 6. And then we've got tangent b. Well, tangent b, that's what? Opposite over adjacent. So that's square root of 5 over 1. Okay, Opposite over adjacent, which is just square root of 5. All right. Now, let's get cosecant b. Well, remember cosecant b, that's the reciprocal of sine b. So I'm going to flip this one. I could flip this one, but I'm just going to do this one. So that's square root of 6 over square root of 5. And then I rationalize denominator, multiply by square root of 5 over square root of 5. So square root of 5 times square root of 6 is square root of 30. Square root of 5 times square root of 5 is 5. And then I've got secant b. Well, I'm not going to take the reciprocal of this. I'll have a square root in the denominator. So I'll just flip this one. So that's square root of 6 over 1, which is just square root of 6. And look, let me just show you real quick. If we flip this one, that's 6 over square root of 6. If I flip it, and then I rationalize the denominator, that's going to give me 6 square root of 6 over 6. And then the 6s cancel. And you can see I end up with the same thing. Okay. So it's just easier to do this because you don't have to rationalize the denominator. And then we've got cotangent B. So, well, we have to take the reciprocal of this. So that's 1 over square root of 5. And then rationalize the denominator. Multiply by square root of 5 over square root of 5. 1 times square root of 5 is square root of 5. And then square root of 5 times square root of 5 is 5. And there's all six trig functions for angle B. All right, so hope the video helped. Uh, give me a like, share, and subscribe, and check out my other videos later.